everybody, I'm Bill. And I'm Natasha. And we're nursing our travel bug. This behind us is the one and only RV of One Strange Adventure. They got a very special guest helping us out with this episode. But this is all about Grand Design's Momentum. 399 THR. I'm Bill from Nursing Our Travel Bug. I'm six foot ten. I'm six foot ten. Most people aren't six ten. I'm six ten. Most people aren't that tall. I'm six foot ten. Have I mentioned that? So the whole point of these videos is to find out will I fit? 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 We are on a mission to find that perfect RV that will fit a big and tall person like myself. So chances are if I fit, another person that's tall will fit as well. I've had the pleasure of meeting the strangers last year and they're just the best people we love their YouTube channel and we know you will too so make sure you head on over to YouTube and check out one strange adventure they're also on Facebook TikTok, and Instagram we'll have all of the links down in the description and while you're at it if you're here for the first time subscribe to our channel and ring that notification bell. We love doing these We Live Fit tours and we think you'll enjoy them too. We also do travel nurse videos, family adventure videos, and RV maintenance, tips and tricks, and DIY. If you would, give us a like, and remember after the video, drop a comment down below. Hey everyone, I'm Harold. I'm Cindy. And we are One Strange Adventure. And this is our 2021 Grand Design Momentum 399 THR. So we bought the 399 because it has a side patio, which uh, is the only side patio that Grand Design offers. Yeah, and we went with a toy hauler because we wanted the extra space. We converted it into a living space that you're going to actually uh, check out today. And it just gives you a whole lot more space for a bedroom. We actually converted it into our master bedroom. So that is why we went with this Grand Design. But the question is, will I fit? Come take a look. segments you know my favorite part of the house is the kitchen it is the heart of the home the place that makes an RV feel like a residential home and Grand Design has stepped up their game and included residential appliances in their models they've been doing the residential refrigerators for many years the samsung has the french doors up top and the freezer chest below which i really love but they've also upgraded to residential stoves i mean why haven't we been doing this for years you don't have to worry about if you have the room to cook your meal for your family you've got plenty of oven space 
This model has a microwave oven, also useful for cooking. It is not convectional. However, you could easily fit one in there if that's what you desired. And plenty of countertop space. In fact, this one has so much countertop space, you can actually slide up some bar stools and have eating space in addition to food prep space. Now on the opposite side of the island, you have more prep space. Harold and Cindy have chosen to use this space as their coffee bar. It's the perfect amount of space for your coffee pot, your cups, they even have a Berkey over here. But if you're not a coffee or a tea drinker, again, you have plenty of prep space over here as well. This here is one strange couch. But of course, that's not what we're talking about. This is all about the whole living room setup and the entertainment center across from me. Now, what's cool about this is that there's a 50-inch TCL Roku TV. And of course, you have a fireplace. And as we've said before, we use our fireplace quite a bit to heat our entire RV, if it's not too cold outside. And I also like that there's storage right above the TV and the fact that the TV swivels out. So like we have ours now, you could stash your video game systems perhaps behind the TV, if not in the storage above. So this here, we even measured it. Harold broke out the tape measure. Seven foot three. Plenty of room under there. If you had a table or something on that end, which they do, you could have that sideways and you wouldn't have to worry about hitting your head. Unless you're even taller than me. Now that's tall. We're in a fifth wheel RV, so what do we have to do? The stair test. How many stairs can I go up till I start feeling the crunch? Let's find out. One. Two. Uh-oh. Careful. All right, there's a little bit of a crunch here. And I'm gonna have to guess. The uh, six, 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 four. I mean, I don't have to totally duck down, but I do have to duck down. Not too bad. Up here is the bedroom, like we say. How much time do you spend up here? But what's behind me is really super cool of how they're using this space. This is traditionally the master bedroom. However, since Harold and Cindy changed the master to the garage space, this has become the kid's space. So this is where the bed normally would have gone. So they kept part of the platform here for one child and they created a secondary platform over here. They were able to get a narrower twin mattress in so both of their kids can share this space and they have plenty of storage. They've got storage baskets down below and they still have the wardrobe across the way. So they have room to hang all of their clothes as well as four more drawers of, of storage space underneath. But wait, they still got more. They have five more cubbies of storage above where that master bed would go as well as another storage cabinet down here. So the kids don't have to sacrifice their clothes or the things that they enjoy. They have plenty of room while sharing the space as well. Hello there. This is your first Will Outfit video. Another test we like to do is the sit down test in the bathroom on the toilet and then hop in the shower to see if I can fit in there. So, so far, Good space between the knees and the vanity. That's good. Let's hop in the shower. So this here really isn't that bad. I feel like this is comparable to our shower. And I'm not even in the skylight yet. Now that I'm in here, I could go nuts. Ow! Of course there's a shower head there. Now if the skylight was back here a little bit more, I think it'd be perfect. 
Now this one here doesn't have a bench, but I feel like there's good space. And I'm a guy, I don't spend a ton of time in the shower. Thanks to Chief from Foreverland RV, gave us a new idea. We're doing a washcloth test. I'm in the shower, drop my washcloth. Can I pick it up? Let's close the doors and figure it out. Ooh. I got my washcloth. That test is a pass. I love the shower space and the toilet orientation in this bathroom. And it does have some storage, so you do have to get a little clever um, with your storage ideas here in the bathroom. And Harold and Cindy have done a great job with that as well. They've installed some baskets here on the wall for their towels. They do still have drawer space down below as well. And of course, a large medicine cabinet for all of your medications, toothbrushes, you know, things that you need in the bathroom. You actually have plenty of storage in there as well. This here is the bedroom. This is where the strange magic happens. How about that? You've seen it in bedroom mode. Now it's in workspace mode. And again, what I like about these toy haulers is once the bed is up out of the way, I can totally step under here. That was brave. I didn't even dip my head because I know I have the room. Now behind me is one of the things one strange adventure really loves about this rig and that's the patio. Ooh! Yeah. Yeah! Look at this! I know what Natasha's gonna say, but I'll let her say it. This is definitely a perk to having the master be back here because this is your own private oasis. I can imagine myself having a lounge chair out here and waking up and drinking my cup of coffee before the rest of the world wakes up. And it's got the awning. There you go. Look at that! I can even stand under the whole awning. Wow, you could totally open all of this up. But if you wanted to, you could just have it closed. Just slide the top panels down and have a breeze coming in. One of the things I love but also find a challenge is the actual garage space. So it's really meant for toys and you have to figure out how to make it feel homey. And they have done a great job of adding a big giant carpet here so that you've got that homey feel. It's also multi-purpose. As you've seen, it is their bedroom. It's their office, but it's also their laundry room. So you can have a stackable washer and dryer or an all-inclusive. It's got plenty of space for that. But where are you going to put all of your stuff? In these toy haulers, you just have two cubbies up against the ceiling, and that doesn't offer a lot of storage. But Cindy and Harold have found some storage solutions that fit in the space so they can still have most of their items back here as well. Now here I'm under the loft, but behind me is one of the tests I like to do, and that's the bathroom. I'm gonna go sit on the toilet. You gotta duck through the doorway. Can I already tell the toilet facing this way? My legs will fit. Let's go down. Let's see what happens. Eee! Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah. All right. I'm in. I'm a big boy. My shoulders fit between the walls. I could do my business. I got room in front of my knees. Not too shabby. All right, so one of our absolute favorite features of this RV is the side patio. It, just think about the, the entryway in relation to the kitchen itself. Being able to put a Blackstone or something out there on there and like not even have to put your shoes on to go out and cook breakfast or cook dinner and bring it right in and serve it on this, this big countertop has been fantastic. The bonus to it and something that we didn't consider when we actually purchased this RV was our dogs love it. it. It turned into a, a puppy pad, basically. They absolutely love going out in the morning and just seeing what's going on. They'll put the toys out there. They'll, they'll just lay around and stuff like that. 
Another great feature or a, a use of that space is that Cindy likes to take the laptop out there since it has a plug and actually work on the side patio. So it, it is a multifunctional space. Plus you're able to see what's up ahead of your RV and to the side, unlike the rear uh, patio where you're only looking straight back. And you have a screen so you can get a nice breeze in. So this RV does come with TV on the side patio. However, we don't watch a whole lot of TV. So it has turned into our cooking utensil area. Uh, the Rockford Fosgate system that this RV has, it actually has speakers outside on the patio too. So if you want to listen to some jams while you're out here, you can. And you have an awning that covers the full thing. So you're, you're pretty well covered uh, from that perspective too. A few fun facts about Grand Design. One, they do not put uh, the ductwork underneath the floor. So as you walk through the RV, you actually don't feel the floor giving under your feet like you do some of the other RVs. All of the ductwork is run up through like the island and things like that. So you have even more headspace because they don't have to raise the floor in order to run the ductwork through it. So there it is. The Grand Design Momentum 399 THR. Pretty spectacular. It is amazing. This has definitely been one on our list. I love the fact that you have a comfortable living space that everyone can gather around, especially a large family. I love the functionality of the garage space. I like what they did with the front bedroom. I know that's not standard, but that's kind of what we always thought if we had a toy hauler. Harold and Cindy just stole our thoughts out of our brain and like, put the kids up there. We'll go in the back. I can fit in the back. Really is kind of genius really mm -hmm. yeah and I, I, this just the finishes and the residential touches that grand design chose for these type of rvs really make it feel like a home and when you're full timers like we are we want our rv to feel like home so i guess the whole point of this is will i fit right and like most other ones what percentage would you say this one 95% of places that I will be hanging out a lot. Mm -hmm. Like we have the kids up front. Like right now we have a mid bunk. I don't go in the mid bunk. The kids are up front. I'm not going to be up there a lot. I go up to the bathroom. Just to shower because you got an extra bathroom in the back. So will I fit? Pretty well overall, yes. Uh, like most RVs, it's not going to be perfect, but could be a fit. Yes, it's it's great for a family, for sure. Well, I'm Natasha. And I'm Bill. And we're nursing our travel bug, encouraging you to nurse what makes you happy. Happy RV hunting. <laughs>